Hey everybody, so something I want to talk to you guys about, again, it's Kimberly Kale here. I want to talk about clubbing in uh, Tokyo. So I just want to tell you about a little bit of my little local hotspots. When I, okay, not, they weren't really local, I guess you could say, but um, my hotspots when I went clubbing in Japan. So there's two like major places to go clubbing. Um, Shibuya and there's Roppongi. Shibuya has like a more younger crowd there, maybe like... You'll see people there mostly, maybe like under 26 at the most, like maybe even 27. People are all in their 20s there, but usually like either from mid-20s down. Um, so it's more for the younger crowd. The thing I don't like about Shibuya is that if you're actually under 20, you really cannot get in because they're really strict. If if you're not 20, you can't get into the club there, done and said. Because, you know, in uh, in actually in Japan, being legal is being 20 years old. And I was 19 at the time, so they didn't really let me in. They only let me in once, which is to a club named Adam. I thought it was pretty chill. Like, it was okay. I went there for Halloween. Yeah, that's probably why they let us in, because it was effing Halloween. They're like, yeah, go ahead. Plus, like, if you're gaijin, they're more lenient towards you. And gaijin means foreigner. And uh, gaijin means foreigner in Japanese. So they're more lenient to gaijin to enter clubs in Shibuya. But regardless, most, most of the time, if you're not over... 20 if you're not 20 or over it they won't let you in the club yeah so we're just lucky that one night and the thing about adam is i think there's like a couple floors there's like a hip-hop floor a, a techno trans ish floor and another floor uh i didn't know those were those were i mean i didn't know there were other floors so i didn't get to go to them and i was like my experience of it was kind of kind of weird because there's more of a younger crowd there they're not really opened as much to uh to foreigners i guess you could say they kind of kept it themselves. So this is just my opinion in comparison to Rapungi clubs. So, yeah, so there's Adam. And then the place we always went to is a place called Gas Panic. And for Gas Panic, <laughs> there shouldn't be a guy gene around in Tokyo that does not know freaking Gas Panic. Whether, regardless, it's in um, freaking Shibuya or Rapungi. Yeah, because Gas Panic is basically guy gene central. And the good thing about Gas Panic is that they allow people over 18 like that's the limit over 18 man i went to the gas panic in shibuya so many times like it was just a thing to do that you know they started card they carded me this one time they carded me saw i was 19 and they never let me buy a drink again but before that they let me buy a drink and like it went to the point that the bouncers they just knew my face and they're like okay come in oh actually no it wasn't even that i actually went up to the bouncer and I was like, are you really going to ask me for my ID? This is like the umpteenth time that I've been here. Like, for real, you're going to ask me for my ID? And he's like, okay, go in. And I was like, yeah, that's what I freaking thought. Yeah, he was he was really chill, though. He was really cool. Um, yeah, and it's there that we met, like, a lot of cool people. Like, my friend met her uh, her, her, her friend there. I mean, her the person she's dating there right now. So that was cool. And, yeah, I just meet a lot of cool people in that gas panic. But there's also a lot of older people. I recommend you do go there on the weekend, though. But it really was the go-to place. I remember being there, like, on a Wednesday because we were, like, on spring break, you know. So what else were we going to do? We were in Shibuya that day. So, yeah, we just went to gas panic and chilled there. It was, like, dead. We're, like, the only ones in there. It was hilarious. The thing why why it was a thing to do is that because one of our favorite hotspots in Tokyo was going, like, to Yoyogi Park which has, like, a lot of events and everything always going on. Like, something's always going on every weekend. And if it's not in Yoyogi Park, like, next to the NHK building, which is, like, that news channel thing that's uh, number one in Japan, yeah, near that part, there's, like, a lot of events going there. But then there's also Yoyogi Park, like, the actual park park. And they have, like, a lot of live little performances going on, which is really cool, like, the drum performances I showed you on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, so it's just, like, the go-to place because... Next to Yoyogi is Harajuku, which is, you know, you know Harajuku. And then you walk actually kind of through Yoyogi. Yeah, you have to walk through Yoyogi, not the park, but like Yoyogi to get to uh, Shibuya. And it's really like a 10 minute walk. So that's why Shibuya was kind of like the go to place. And if we're in Shibuya, Harajuku is the go to place. If we're in Harajuku, Yoyogi, Shibuya, the go to place. And, uh, you know, we can just mix that up a little bit every now and then. Yeah, so. That's enough for Shibuya. Like, I don't really know much about Shibuya. In all truth, Roppongi was my favorite place. Why? Because there was just a lot more gaijin there. And just a lot of a lot of more people were um, open to speak to foreigners there. Especially, like, the Japanese people. Now, I'm not saying, like, go to a club to find, like, 
a, what, a Japanese boyfriend, whatever. But um, when you're clubbing in Roppongi, a lot of the Japanese men that well, know, like, came up and talked to me, whatever, were dancing with me, knew English. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, knew English. It was really cool. Like, they just find it really nice to speak with a, a foreigner. They're English, you know. And also, you know, they're interested in you because I guess, like, gaijin women are seen as exotic and stuff. But I like it because there's a lot more foreigners there. And... You know, actually, when foreigners see foreigners in Japan, they're kind of like, oh my gosh, this guy's going to say hi to me. Because, you know, it's like, hey, you're foreign, I'm foreign, let's, let's hey, let's, we're like brother and sister, right? You know, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny, but <laughs> yeah, I don't really like it if it's not in like the club or social scene, like to say hi to other foreigners, because like, dude, I'm not your best friend, like, ochitsuke, which means like, calm down. <laughs> but in the club scene, it's different, it's really cool. And uh, I did befriend some people in the club that were gaijin there. And, um, yeah, it, it's just really, I don't know, that's why I liked it. It's more diverse set of people in Roppongi, and it's a little bit more uh, out there. Because in Roppongi, there's an actual street that has all these clubbing um, places in it. So, yeah, you would go there, and <laughs> there'd be, like, all these African people outside. Yeah, when I say African, I mean African, like, straight up from, like, Nigeria. And there are some Kenyan people and, like, French, French African stuff. They're like, oh, come to my club, come to my club. And there's one club called Vibration. They're like, oh, Vibration, Vibration, like, come to my club. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> like, we, we did go to Vibration, though. They played some good music. I liked it. And, like, one of the waiters, I mean, whatever. Yeah, I think he's a waiter. You know, like, the people who come around asking, like, what drinks you want. Uh, he, he kind of already knew me by then. He's, and when I came in, he was like, hey, and I was like, hey. You just meet cool people, and most of the time, most, if you go there often, like I did, oh my gosh, now you know where all my money went. Um, <laughs> you get to know, I don't know, you get to know the people who work there. And down that street, other than clubs, there's like kebab, kebab which is like, is like Indian food thing that has all this meat and then like, it's like a hold held in a sandwichish tortilla looking thing. I don't know. It's just really good, and it's really good when you're like buzz out your mind because you know you get hungry and stuff from dancing from for hours and stuff. So it's like freaking bomb.com. And there's like McDonald's there, and you know if you're cheap like I am, you would go there a lot. So clubs I recommend in Roppongi. I do recommend Jumanji. It's, it's just really cool, and sometimes they have, like, all-you-can-drink there. A lot of clubs actually have all-you-can-drink, which basically you pay, like, senen, which is, like, 12, 13, 12 to, like, 15 bucks American money, and you basically get all-you-can-drink all night long. So that's cool. Um, let's see. And, yeah, and Jumanji always plays cool music. Like, I love Jumanji. Then you have Gas Panic or Pongi. And that one's really cool. I, I do like that gas paddock. I had I have a lot of experience there. That's actually one of the first clubs I ever went to when I came to Japan. Um, that's actually the second one. The first one I went to was this one called uh, Wall Street. And it was kind of like old people in there, like the older people, older crowd. But that was cool. That was the first time I ever like drunk drunk. And uh, like, let's just say I was like blah, 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 all over the place, which was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about that. But it was a learning experience. It's all right. It, as long as you have good friends there, like, to help you out, it's cool. But you don't want to be throwing up all the time when you go out. That doesn't, like, say, that's not really good. That's not an image you want to uphold, you know? So, yeah. So I don't really recommend Wall Street, but I do recommend Jumanji, the Gas Panic there. Not Gas Panic Bar. It's Gas Panic Club, I believe it's called. It's, like, right above a, it's actually, yeah, it's the second floor. It's right above a restaurant, I believe. So, not Gas Panic Bar. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Gas Panic Bar is, like, down the street. On the same street, but, like, down, like, a little cul-de-sac area. And they play, like, all gangster rap. And when I say gangster rap, I mean gay gangster rap. I mean, like, some Tupac Shakur stuff, like, Game, 50 Cent. I'm like, okay, let's, can we mix it up? Can we mix it up? And that's the Gas Panic uh, Club that actually mixes it up which is pretty cool. On Thursdays, they have 300 yen drinks, which is like, you know, $45 American money drinks. And yeah, obviously, I didn't think, I wasn't thinking before uh, I started buying drinks like this. I didn't, I wasn't like registering in my head that, oh, it's only like, it's only $45 American money. That's, I think, a lot for a shot, you know? 
So I was thinking in terms of a Japanese money, I'm like, oh, it's only like 300 yen, you know, like, this is nothing, like, I'm making rain, yeah, yeah, that's why I went broke so fast, yeah. <laughs> so, let's recap. I recommend Jumanji, I recommend Gas Panic Club, uh, Vibration is okay, I do recommend Vibration, they have good music and they usually have a good crowd in there. So, yeah, those are the three clubs I do recommend. Oh, also Greenland. Greenland, on some nights, they have uh, also open bar, and they play good music. I only went there once. Uh, yeah, so I actually have lots of stories from Roppongi, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to share with you uh, through my thing. But if you guys want to know anything about clubbing, like, please ask me. I'm here to answer your questions. I meant, <laughs> I was in your shoes once, you know, like, dreaming about my time like for me to go to Japan like oh my gosh I just want to know everything so if you guys want to know anything about Japan I'm open to answer your questions just write it in the comments uh, area below and I'll, I'll get to you maybe in a video or maybe I'll just answer it right then and there so um thanks for watching uh, clubbing in Japan